now is Mitch Hanniger. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Catfish has the sign. Here it is on 1 and 0. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. A ball and two strikes to Mitch Hanniger. 1 2. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Here comes Cespedes. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. One, two, three, go the Mariners. They lead it six to two. Welcome back to Safeco Field here in Seattle. The Mariners out in front of this one as we move to the seventh, but before it gets underway, let's give you a look at the game summary to this point. James Pazos is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 47, James Pazos. So coming to the plate, Reggie Jackson. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one first pitch coming here it is ball one and down in the Mariner bullpen it looks like a right handers up the throw the 1 0 misses off the plate two balls and a strike that swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. Now the 2-1 pitch is strike two swinging. Here now the 2-2. Hit in the air down the left field line. Moving under it, Gamble. One away. Now Here's you an assessment. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. First delivery to him on the way. There's that little sinker right over the outside corner. One out, nobody on. sinker and this one's over as well nothing in two now good pitch right there from the reliever tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it oh and two count here's the pitch swung on and he went fishing in the dirt and he makes the throw to first Cespedes is retired two down now so two are gone now in the Oakland half of the seventh. And here comes an important cog in the big red machine, Joe Morgan. Now the pitch. Outside with the fastball, that's 1-0. and oh. Two out, nobody on. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. and oh. It's two and one to the A's leadoff batter. That's a nasty pitch right there. You got to tip your hat as the hitter. You get a nasty slider like that, there's nothing you can do. Actually, a quality take. 
And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The 3-1. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no 1-2-3 inning here. They've got themselves a two-out base runner. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. Here's Jed Lowry now. And Dan, this could be a real make-or-break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Now we'll step off the rubber and go to first. But the runner's back easily. First pitch on its way. And look out as that one ran in and got him. These guys are pros and they're tough, but I know that one hurt. He'll never show it, though. Too much pride at stake. Now batting, Frank Thomas. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate. That's just a great job to get your mechanics back onto you and establish yourself back in the strike zone. Ready with the 0-1. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Morgan rounds third and is digging for the plate. A run in. Here's a second runner around third. And he's in there safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. You simply cannot offer up a pitch like this to a hitter of this guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. Nick Vincent will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. In now, Orlando Cepeda as the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Good cut fastball in there, one and one. Thomas stands at second with two gone. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Lifted in the air to right field. Hanniger in pursuit. But it's over his head, and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. And this thing bounces over the wall, but I don't think it would have mattered if it stayed in the ballpark. Either way, the runner was going to score, and he was going to wind up at second. He drove that ball really nicely. Ready for another chance? Mike Piazza. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And he takes a pitch right down the middle.
Comes set with the 0-1. Hard hit to first. Martinez right there. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they pick up three runs on only two hits in the inning. No errors, and a runner left on. Get up and stretch now here in the great Northwest. It's the Mariners six, and the A's five. Goose Gossage gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Stepping into the box, Kyle Seager hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. First offering on its way. Breaking ball in for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Couldn't wait back, a swing and a miss. Down and in as he's forced to back out of the way that time. You know, I'm not sure he didn't throw that pitch out of the zone on purpose. They've been swinging at pretty much everything he throws, so why not give it a shot? Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. The bouncer to the left side. Donaldson's up with it. And the throw on the first will take care of him, so he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Digging in now for the Mariners, Tuffy Gozowicz. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to One keep his hands straight. back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. Looks like a right-hander's gotten up to throw now in the Oakland pen. Still a ball and two strikes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Williams comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Gene Segura standing in. He's got.